Hey, what's up you guys? It's Paul again here. So, in today's video, I wanted to talk about something that I was reminded of, unfortunately, in YCS Dallas. It's a type of Yu-Gi-Oh player, uh, if we can even call it that, that I really hate. Um, so, that type of player is the wannabe vendor. So, uh, yeah, I got a lot to say about this. This is not going to be a positive, fun video, so uh, if you were looking for that, you know, later. No, but... um. The, the thing is, okay, so <clears throat> I'm this the disclaimer here. I don't hate Yu-Gi-Oh vendors like, you know, the, the shops that show up at your regionals or your larger events. and They're buying and selling cards and supplies. Those are actually great. Um, I totally support them. And even though I don't always like how it works, I mean, they're, they're fine. I get why they have to exist. The things I'm talking about are actually this, this certain type of player. A certain type of player who, you know, kind of goes to these events and they just sort of walk around from person to person, binder to binder, um, basically, you know, trying to buy cards and then sell them to other people. But the thing is, they just see these Yu-Gi-Oh cards as dollar bills. They just see these Yu-Gi-Oh cards as money, as, you know, potential sales. And it's oftentimes really predatory, you know, buying just really low prices, selling for really exorbitantly high prices taking advantage of people who don't know the value of their cards or people who are just really desperate for money and kind of doing this all under the guise of, oh, well, you know, I'm just trying to make a profit. Oh, well, you know, this is just kind of a side hustle. I think that when you start doing that, trying to rip people off and trying to, you know, do all that, just go from table to table, person to person, binder to binder, it it's no longer like about Yu-Gi-Oh! And a lot of times these people aren't Yu-Gi-Oh! players. So that's what we're going to talk about. Uh, in this video about something that it's just it's really annoyed me um so at YCS Dallas uh, we it was a lot of fun you know we went there it was a great time check out the social medias for pictures and stuff from that event and hopefully we can go to more but that's not the point of this video the point of this video is that there are you know I saw so many people there who just not even so many it really is only a handful but um I saw just uh, some people there who didn't seem like they really gave a shit about Yu-Gi-Oh itself uh, you know, sort of anecdotal example, we were all sitting around at a table, just kind of having fun, some people were playing, some people were trading, whatever, and guy walks over to the table and, you know, asks to see trade binders, says he's buying, which is already illegal at the event, you're not really supposed to do that, but anyway, um, you know, wants to see the binders, kind of just starts flipping, points from card to card, offering prices, and that's okay, I guess. I mean, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh cards have prices, they have monetary value, and that's okay. That's what you use to trade, you know, like if you know a card's worth this much, then you don't want to get ripped off. That's all to be expected. So no real problems there. It's just kind of the fact that, like, you're just flipping, pointing, flipping, pointing, like just kind of tossing out values. If you said yes, then he, you know, he'd pull it out. If you said no, he'd kind of keep going. The thing is, though, is that really trading anymore? I mean, it doesn't help. Like, this is already precluding the fact that he th th he wasn't interested in actually trading. He never pulled out a trade binder. He only intended to buy things for money. And uh, that's kind of the first thing that really rubs me the wrong way is when people just view this game as cards to buy and then later flip for a profit. So, you know, he wasn't lo even looking to really negotiate prices very much. It was just sort of like he had his calculator, he had his wallet, he had the cards. He's just, you know, keeping track of everything. Almost like it's just some sort of business transaction. And of course, they do the typical sort of wannabe vendor thing of offer you extremely low prices for your cards, then try to sell them for exorbitantly high prices. And um, that's just how vending works in general. You know, like, let's say Ash Blossom's like 70 right now. I think that's an accurate guess. Uh, they might be buying them for like 40 and then maybe selling them for like 70. So it's you know it's to be expected right you have to buy low and sell high but the thing is this like this guy actually kind of openly admitted to not knowing what's even good in the game right now not even really being a Yu-Gi-Oh player you know that is the part that kind of got uh, where I'd started to rub me the wrong way where it's just kind of like this guy doesn't actually know or care anything about Yu-Gi-Oh all he cares about is you know just the prices the values of current cards what he can sell them for who he can find that maybe doesn't know the value of their cards or just willing to part with them for really cheap and you know the thing is he was sitting here bragging about how the previous night you know at whatever hotel he you know spent like several grand on, the, on these cards and like pushed a bunch of other cards for several grand it's almost it kind of sounds like are you talking about like Yu-Gi-Oh cards you talk about like you know drugs or something you know it's, it's just something about that really was 
just irked me a bit because he's literally he talked about doing some buyouts on several different websites and you know how much money he'd spent and made on this game and it's just kind of like but you don't actually like play Yu-Gi-Oh or care and you could tell that it wasn't even just Yu-Gi-Oh cards I mean he's just the type of person who he offered me money for my camera and stuff like that and it's just like huh this is say some this is something about this is bad um you know already the fact that you know this isn't this wasn't a trade already the fact that you're not really supposed to you know buy and sell at these events i know people do it whatever but it's just the fact that you know he didn't even see these cards as cards he wasn't building any particular deck he wasn't you know doing anything like that i don't even think he was getting him for a friend or really discriminating about what he wanted it's just whatever he could buy and then going to sell it and once he was done at our table he went on to the next table to find another group of people to do the same thing and something this I don't like that. I think that there shouldn't be a place for that type of stuff in Yu-Gi-Oh! Because that's no longer really like liking Yu-Gi-Oh! Or playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Or like really having a Yu-Gi-Oh! collection. That's more just preying on people, you know. Ripping people off, exploiting people. Um, and just all, again, under this guise of like, uh, just some sort of, you know, who's going to make a profit, some sort of side hustle. If you want to make money off of things like this, I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh is not where you should do it. It's actually, you know, a trading card game for children. You shouldn't be, like, treating it like, you know, monetary income and, like, just this product that you can buy and push and flip for a profit. It's, that's so grimy and just grungy, and it's not really the type of thing that I think this game needs. And you find so many people who don't even know about, like, how to handle that you know like this guy comes up and he's just offering a bunch of money there are kids who get ripped off and just like you know adults people who just don't necessarily know the value of their cards they get ripped off ripping people off is really wrong when it's like a game like Yu-Gi-Oh! I mean come on and the fact that he again didn't play didn't really care didn't this any of that that's the part that really got me um so you know I, is this something that like you guys have encountered before is it you know do you have like some grimy type of like wannabe vendor at your shop i don't think that it's really a, a value like a valid excuse you know obviously people trade cards obviously that's just how this works but i think that when you turn it into what you want to call a business that's just no good you know Yu Gi Oh isn't a game that you should be able to profit a whole bunch off of i mean get a job but it that's that's just it's just something that kind of has always bothered me. I've seen these types of people at Yu-Gi-Oh events for years, um, and you know, again, maybe I'm just overreacting. Maybe this is just how it's supposed to be, but I think that it's kind of wrong. So you know, let me know if you agree with me. What have been your experiences with these types of people at events? How do you deal with them? Do you think that it's right or wrong? You know, because obviously it's a trading card game. Like I said, these cards have value. They have price tags that's just how it goes but i don't think that people should just show up simply for the sake of ripping people off simply for the sake of making money uh that that's that, that's like kind of not in the that's no longer Yu-Gi-Oh to me so uh yeah you guys can let me know what you think about it in the comments i would love to hear it and um if you like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe um also hit the notification bell so you will know whenever we upload new videos I actually got a pretty interesting one planned for the next day or two about showing our Yu-Gi-Oh! collection, something a lot of people have asked for, so I think that'll be fun. And, uh, yeah, you can follow me on social media and stuff. The Circuit Break box giveaway ends pretty soon, so be sure to enter that if you haven't already. And I think that's it. So, yeah, um, don't rip people off, and I'll see you guys in the next video.